Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, and dear New Yorkers, and all the respected Falun Dafa practitioners. Yeah, I am talking for the organization International Society for Human Rights. And this is the biggest human rights organization in Germany and one of the biggest in Europe. I can recall 1994 when I first time heard about in the whole Europe maybe there were only a few practitioners and today 23 years later there are thousands of practitioners in Europe in about 40 countries so 1999 in July when suddenly the news came uh, that Falun Gong was banned in China and the Chinese Communist regime started a brutal and cruel persecution. That was a shock also for people in Europe. Well, because most European people at that time did not know so much about Falun Gong, in the same time the Communist Party's media was running 24 hours to spread rumor and slandering about Falun Gong. So it was a tough time for Falun Gong practitioner. But luckily, my human rights organization reacted a bit different. Their reaction is, we have difficulty to believe those propaganda from CCP. And why? Because International Society for Human Rights was founded 1972 with the aim to protect East German people suffering from the communist persecution during the time of DDR. So, and one of their main job was to protect the freedom of belief for the Christian people in East Germany. So for my colleagues in the International Society for Human Rights, what were not difficult to believe that the propaganda from the party is a propaganda, is lie. So, and we quickly find out the truth. So, this organization from the very beginning showed their full support for Falun Gong practitioners and do their best to spread the truth about what is really going on in China in the issue of Falun Gong. So, they have been working hard through different uh, information campaigns such as exhibition, such as rally, such as parade and also through the media work to counteract the propaganda of the Communist Party. This is great. And same thing happened in Europe. From the beginning, many people were shocked, but then later, more and more people find out this is a terrible persecution. Particularly when European people, European people first heard about the forced organ harvesting on Falun Gong practitioner going on since year 2000 in China. We were shocked. And I can recall that when I informed personally the five biggest political parties in the German uh, Bundestag, German parliament, it was their reaction is too bad to be true. But now they all believe in it. So the good thing in it is, through the hard working, particularly the Falun Gong practitioner, continuously giving people the right information about what is going on in China. So what happened is, 19, no sorry, 2013, on December, European Parliament, being the first parliament in the world, with an absolute majority, passed through a resolution condemning the Chinese government in organ harvesting. And nowadays in China, 
There is no need to convince any parliament in Europe that this is something has been going on in China for years. They only want to discuss how can we stop it. And I am also to thank the support from the German government to our organization and also to Falun Gong practitioners. I can recall that already year 2002, I think, or 2004, sorry, when Angela Merkel, being a new prime minister or new chancellor of Germany, she already wrote a letter to us saying that she support fully the freedom of belief. She will put up this issue as one of her main issues during her period as Chancellor and to protect the freedom of belief for Falun Gong practitioners. So ladies and gentlemen, we are happy that Europe as part of the world is joining this campaign of justice to, move. to join the cause of justice. And I also call all people of the world, please find out the truth. It is important. Only when we find out the truth, we know how to act correctly. Thank you.